everybody. Diamonds by Tita here. Thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me, keeping me company as I um, go over the next part of my Timu haul. Um, I still have, I think, at least uh, one or maybe two more Timu, um, uh, Timu videos to make um, from all the diamond paintings that I got over the last couple weeks. So I have um, a bunch of different things to share with you today. Again, I just want to thank you for stopping by. I uh, really appreciate you coming in and watching. All right, so here goes. Um, I'm going to put all this stuff off over to the side because I've got a couple other paintings from a different order that didn't fit in this bag. I'll just go all over here and then all kinds of all kinds of goodies. Okay. All right. So the first thing, I know you guys have probably all seen these. Um, these are just the little stickers with the DMC codes on them. Um, for you that are new to diamond painting, you can put these on your, um, uh, you know, your little, uh, your little drill bottles or containers if you want to. Um, they have all the DMC codes, but they also have, they also have blank ones. Oops, put them right side up. And then numbers too. And then letters. So you can kit up that way if you want to. The DMC numbers are great that if you're going to be saving your drills, a lot of people save them in little Ziploc bags. And um, you can uh, use that if you're not going to make your own labels or just write on the containers. So um, that's helpful. And I needed, needed a few extra. So that is one thing. Those are really helpful. Now I'm not giving any prices. This is my next one. Um, I'm not giving any prices because Timu, as you know, the prices go up and down depending if it's on sale or a lightning deal or you know whatever their special things are. So I don't list the prices on it. When you click into the link, you'll find out um, what the price is that day. Now, these are nice. It has the little um, little clippy things, and it's got a little handle. Um, now, this I like because it was a little bit different, and it comes with the little uh, labels again. These are square containers. See, I'll show you. They're square. I like these because they seem to be a little bit larger than the vials I get with the Art Dot containers or the Art Dot little uh, suitcase thingies. And it's got a um, little flip top, although you can pull all of this out too. Um, I just kind of like that. I saw um, Diamond Painting with Sweet Tea show these, and I really like it. This is 32 in this container. So I think it's gonna be um, you know big enough to do um, you know, your 30 by 40s, most of the smaller paintings, you know, don't have more than 32 colors. So I thought that was going to be nice. Um, I'm really happy with that. So there is that. Now my next one I love because this is another one of the paintings that makes me happy. Um, this is my take two on this video. So I've already removed the, um, the drill kit. And let me just show you that. It is a standard drill kit with the green boat, the plate of wax and the pen. And I won't show those again unless there's something different. But this painting with the flowers and the colors just made me really, really happy. Um, this is actually a crystal and special drill diamond painting. And I just thought that it's going to be so pretty in these bright colors. I, I am really excited to do this one. 
I really, 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 really like this one. Some paintings just make you really happy to work on. Um, I'm working on, if you watched my last whip and chat, I'm working on my Gypsy Violet um, horse. It's a Diamond Art Club. That's in a lot of bright colors, purples and blues and greens. And I am having so much fun with it. Um, I'm really, really, really enjoying it. So let me open up these, these drills. Oh, I guess before I, before I move on, I didn't show you guys the drill field because I know many of my viewers are liking it when I bring the drill field up a little closer so that you can see. And then down here is the legend. And we also have a legend off over to the right. And again, you'll have to excuse me just one quick second because of course the dog needs out. I need to just leave the door open the minute I'm filming. I think you guys are just getting used to that, huh? That's just part of, part of a Tita video. So these drills are just so, so pretty. Wait till you see these, these crystals. And there's 22 of them. Look at that purple. Isn't that purple beautiful? And then yellow. And there's black for the outlining. Now the black's not a crystal. That's just a regular drill. And that one's kind of like a, I don't know, like a smoky, greeny kind of color. And this is a beautiful raspberry. And we have red. And that is an aqua. And a pretty blue. Some more green. And that's another pinky raspberry kind of color. And there's a golden orange. And of course, more purple. My purple, I love purple. And more pink. Well, I'm sorry that the backs are really, I'm just seeing lots of silver, but I think you can see the pink. And a teal, yellow. More purple. Oh, look at that blue. Isn't that awful beautiful? And then that's going to be a crystal. And then here's our special shapes. This is a blue marquee, an aqua marquee, um, a red round, and that's a blue round. So I just love this one so much. Really, really happy with this one. Okay, so that is that one. Let me just put that off onto the side. And um, I've got one other partial before I go into the full drills. Or I guess that one wasn't a partial, that was a full, but um, this one is a partial. Let me get this one out. This I thought was pretty just, you know, for the season or just to remember um, gratitude. Sometimes it's hard to be grateful, right? Yeah, sometimes it's really, really hard to be grateful. But there's always something every day to be grateful for. Sometimes it's just the little things. Sometimes it's a big thing. Here we go. So this one has got 13 different shapes and colors in this one. I'll bring you in a little bit closer so that you can see it a little bit better. Let me bring you up to the drill field so that you can see it. I just thought that was cute. And I don't think it's going to take very long. Maybe I can get that done for Thanksgiving, even though it doesn't look real Thanksgiving-y like color-wise. But again, colorful and I like it. And because this is a partial, you know, I open up all the drills so you can see them because 
the crystals and the drills um, and the special shapes are so pretty. That is just what they're kind of all about, huh? So look at that blue. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty blue. And yellow. And kind of a peachy color. There's some crystals there. Some blue. And green. And kind of a, a ready, ready raspberry purple. And here's a special drip drills. There's a marquee. And here is a blue um, teardrop or pear shape. Oh, I like that one. Look at that square. Isn't that pretty? And there's a blue little half round, a green marquee, and a blue marquee. So those are really pretty. I like those. That's going to be another um, fun one to do. Put that off to the side. And now we can get into the, the regular paintings. Uh, this is a wintry one. Boy, it sure feel like, feels like winter here. It was so cold this morning. Oh, goodness. I think we hit up the last of the garage sales this today, but it was just too cold. So here we have a little gnome with his sweater and looks like he has his coffee cup and we have a little snowman and I want to just show you that real quick so you can see it. But you got your Christmas tree. And this is all done in more, um, uh, this is all done, you know, in blues, kind of non-traditional colors. But I thought he was cute. So there is my gnome. And here's the colors. We have, of course, the gold and the blue, purple, more blues. He's gonna have all kinds of blues in this one. And then pink and green and navies. So there is that one. I'm gonna move that off to the side. And then I've got another Christmas one, not wintery one. But anyway, I didn't finish my thought on the garage shelf. Oh, it was so cold this morning. Um, and I didn't think we were going to go garage sailing because I didn't think that there was going to be any. Um, but there was quite a few. I think this must be like the last weekend of it. Now, isn't that tree pretty? I love the tree. It's just glowing. Another one that makes me kind of happy. This one's got 25 colors. And it is in numbers and letters. And the let and the numbers are right. A one's a one's, a two's a two. And um, you know, I never go by, I always go by the symbol. I never really look at the number that's on. I mean, the number order that it is, I always paint by symbol, which is kind of weird that I want it in like a one is a one, a two is a two, but that is truly because I like my drill containers to all be like in order and all uniform. And so when a two is a number eight, it just, um, it just irritates me. That's all. Um, Irritates my nerve, is what I'm going to say. So here is my pretty Christmas tree. I think it's beautiful. These are all, all kitted up for you.
if you like to work out of the bags, it's all heated up. If not, you can put it in your own containers. And this one doesn't have the, the painting number on it. You put that on there so I don't get anything mixed up. And this is a 40 by 40, so it's a little bit bigger size. But I kind of like the 40 by 40s, or it's probably truly more like a 35 by 35, but we all know that that's the, the total canvas area. And let me get the next one. The next one, I thought, she was just really, really pretty. Isn't she just gorgeous? And I think we're gonna be able to see everything really well, as long as the skin tone is a good color. And I'm gonna look at that skin tone because, you know, sometimes they mess up skin tone really bad. Sometimes they make people look orange or, um, just weird non-skin color. So let me just straighten this one out a little bit. Now this is just a small 30 by 30, so it shouldn't take too long to do. It does have 22 colors. Okay, and I'm going to just take a look at the skin tone. I just want to make certain that the skin tone is going to look okay. Um... So the skin is going to be in sixes, sevens, D's, and N's. Sixes, seven, D's, and N's. Okay. Okay, so let me just show you. This color here is a six. And it... I'm gonna bring you in so you can see where the skin color is gonna be. Bring you in a little bit tight to her face. So you can see where the sixes are here. Through here, there's a little bit over there. So that is gonna be the six. And then it also has this seven. Now, in the screen right now, it is looking really kind of yellow, but it is not. Let me see if I can put a light on it. Oh, it's still not helping. It truly is more of a brownie tan color. 57s. And then over here on the sides are D's and N's. Let me show you those. Um, a D is a number 13. Okay, so this is where you're kind of gonna get, get into some funky colors. This truly is like a very deep, um, I don't know, it's a, it's a reddish brown. So that is going to go here into the D's. So I don't know if I necessarily like that color. I think it should be more of a, more of a brown. And then 22 is an N. This is better. This is more of the brown. And that is ends, which are going to be over here. So I think when I do it, um, I think I'm going to try to make that D coordinate a little bit better and not look so red and have it look more brown. So I may change that up just a little bit. But why I'm here, because I have these already opened up, let me go ahead and back this out a little bit and um, show you the colors, because I already have them open, so I might as well show you the colors. So we've got blue, and that peach, and more peach, and blue, bright green, we already went over that color, it's kind of like a tomato red. Um, that's like a dusty pink and yellow. Again, more of an orangey red. Pink again. Oh, those are the skin tones again. Green. 
black. Is that navy? Let me tell you what color these are. Hold on. Yeah, these are black. These are three tens. And a pretty salmon color. Another little brownish and then purple. So I really liked, I really like this one. But like I said, I may just change up skin tone just a little bit um, so that she doesn't look kind of with that red color in it. Oh, I'm sorry, and I didn't show you these. There's a couple more. There's a couple more for that. So there is that one. And let me get you this last one here. This one is really pretty too. Oops, get the drills out. Now this is a landscape, but it's, to me it's a little bit more of um oh I don't know like an enchanted an enchanted one um you know with that beautiful rainbow. I need to back this um, roll this backwards a little bit so it'll lay a little bit flatter. Um, let me show you the thumbnail real quick so you can see. That's pretty glary. I don't know if I can get it any better or not. I guess that's a little bit better. I will put the picture up here somewhere so that you can see it. Oh, goodness. They put the cover sheet. It is really hanging over this canvas. I need to cut this a little bit because it is uh, really hanging over. That will drive me crazy. These are not my very sharp scissors. There we go, let's get rid of that. Whoops, now the static's got it stuck to my hand. All right, so this one again, I just thought was really, um, you know, just mystical and not maybe a fantasy world or something like that. But I thought it was pretty. It has 25 colors. It's in numbers and letters. And the colors of the drills are beautiful. So there's that one. So it's very, very bright. My tablecloth is coming off. All right, let me show you all the, the drill colors. These are all in Ziploc baggies. Very bright. Let me see if I can open these up just a little bit and show you some of the really pretty colors. At least be able to take a peek in here because you really can't see the colors very well. Aren't they pretty? Look at all those colors. I think you can see them better now. I'm not going to take them all out because I'll never get them all back in. But at least you can see them a little bit better that way. Well, that is all that I have for you today, guys. Um, again, this is a 40 by 40. Oh, and I'm sorry. I totally forgot to show you folks that like the drill filled so you can see what it is. Everything seems pretty clear to me. And the, um, the glue layer, can you see the um, that glue layer? It's a thick glue layer. You can just see it, see it shine. That's a nice glue layer. It's going to be very sticky. Yep, it is very sticky. All right, now that's all that I have for you. Um, so here is my landscape. I'll give you a recap. And here is my pretty lady that I think is just gorgeous. And my Christmas tree. And my gnome that says, let it snow. And my grateful. And then my crystal flower. 
And here is my um, drill storage. And then the last thing I had was um, the labels, the numbers. So that is all that I have for you today, guys. Thanks so much for, again, for keeping me company as I go through all these. Please be sure if you, I mean, if you've lasted all the way to the end, please be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Um, drop me a comment. Uh, please, um, yeah, please drop a comment. Ask any questions you have. I love getting emails from you guys. I love all your comments. You're just a fabulous group of people. Thank you so much. You guys take care, and I will talk to you on the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.